Good morning. <laughs> Do you like the unveiling then? The smoke screen. I thought it was a bit pretty classy. Uh, let's see who's going to be the first one to join me this morning. Is it going to be YouTube? Is it going to be Facebook? Good morning, good morning. Who have we got on this morning? Come on, lay down, baby girl. Good morning, Tracy. Wow, you first one on. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> good morning, Claire. How are you, my lovely? Just looking what Fifi's done. Go and fetch it now. Go on. You know. Come on. Mm, stop down there then. <coughs> Do you know? Bloody dogs. Dogs and kids. Morning, Mick. How are you, my lovely? Hope everybody's feeling good this morning. Who's ready for the weekly? Wait for the, yeah, the weekly weighing. Who wants to see how much I've lost this week? <laughs> Morning, Vince. Hope you're well, my lovely. Morning, Anne. House tricks. Hope everybody's well. Hope everybody's set for a great day today. Football's coming home. <laughs> uh, John, scare you off again. No, Tracy's only just got up. And um, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna set the morning chit chat for quarter to ten. Um, because that way then, if John's up and wants to do it, he can. Morning, Sheila, my lovely. Uh, so, no, at the moment, John's just washing the few pots from last night and mashing a cup of tea. Um, so, yeah, so what's everybody up to today or what's everybody been up to today if you're not in the UK? Let's see what you've all been up to. Where's my glasses? There we are. Let me put my glasses on because my eyes look still look really dark to say I'm eating. Uh, no, Anne, I think I've just, uh, it's just our sound in the morning. <laughs> I'm a bit, uh, I'm a bit, I'm very deep voice anyway, Anne. Um, I've got a man's voice, really. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, it sounds, it sounds, it sounds deeper than what it is. Um, I'm here, just woke up. Good morning, David. Having tea and toast, uh, Sheila. Uh, Claire's working. Tucks uh, Boris out at seven. Oh, Fifi's not been out yet. She's only just come downstairs with John. So nothing till grandson comes. Oh, but you can't wait for grandson to arrive. On, um, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't see mine until next week. Um, I can see him on the phone though, so that's good. So this week's weighing. What we're guessing? Have I gained? Have I lost? <laughs> Let's see what y'all think in the chit chat. Um, weather today, I'll do the weather forecast while I'm waiting for the answers to be put in. Uh, the weather forecast today is really sun shining. I think all the rain we had yesterday has brought in a little bit of sun. Um, Tracy says three, David says five, Claire just says a loss. And says four. Don't forget, I lost seven pounds last week, guys. In my first week, I lost seven pounds. And this week, I lost a massive five pounds. <laughs> um, so, David, you were spot on, my lovely. So, 12 pounds in two weeks. I think that's that pretty bloody amazing for me. Um, to say I can't exercise because obviously, obviously because of disabilities, I can't, can't, I can't exercise. So, I do literally have to rely on the food. Um, so, yeah, I'm buzzing. Um, I think it's hard, though, to lose weight when it's not hard to lose weight when you're mobility limited. But I think it can send you a little bit. Um, uh, mind wise, I think it can play with your head quite a lot. I think it can mess with your head when uh, you know you're overweight. But you don't think you can. It's like you don't think you could lose that weight because everybody talks about exercise and even walking. Um, even walking um, seem, tends to um, help with the weight loss. But unfortunately, if you're like me and you can only walk a small distance, um, or for those that can't walk at all, it's it's heart wrenching when all you do is put weight on. So. 
um yeah if anybody's struggling um thanks thank you everybody um but if anybody is struggling with weight loss there is, there is ways you can do it without actually having to exercise um so uh, yeah don't 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 give up on yourselves um stay positive and come on we can do it ladies and gents um so yes yeah, the weather back to the weather we have got sunshine this morning i can see the sun shining through our living room um but i don't know whether it's going to rain later on because i've not checked the weather forecast at all um i'm hoping john will check check the weather forecast when he comes in so who watched the england match last night who thought they played pretty well uh it is james it's coming on i thought england played exceptionally well last night um we were a bit like what's what's gareth doing putting him on taking him off and then putting somebody else uh, and it were like no um but you know what i have all the faith and i always have done every match they've played um from from going back i've always said england can do it um so yeah to me i hope they can bring it home for us uh, against italy um i'm disappointed in some english fans though i didn't realize that um when we played germany and they put that little girl on screen um i think i was that excited I didn't hear the booing of the crowd um, and booing a four year old girl. I think that was absolutely um, despicable. Um, it was, I, I don't know how they can, I, I don't know how anybody can, um, could do that. I mean, she, she was a child. I mean, I know money were raised and the family said that they didn't want it and all the money's gone to charity, but bad on your England fans for doing that. Um, that was just so out of order. Yesterday as well, um, as much as I enjoyed the match, that dickhead with a laser pen, uh, we know ourselves using laser pens with laser grids, how um, it can actually uh, hurt your retinas in your, in your eyes. Um, and some clever dick um, shining it on to... I mean, it didn't... It, I mean, people are... I mean, I heard commentators say, um, oh, I hope I'm put him off. Well, it didn't put him off because he actually saved the goal. Um, if he'd have missed it, then obviously there would have been uproar. Um, I mean, obviously, what I'm saying is, I know it went in, but he actually saved it. Um, and then obviously it come back in. But, uh, yeah, um, he saved that penalty and then it went back in on rebound. But to use a laser pen... Um, don't we don't English fans get enough grief from all other nations that play? Um, we are having some dickhead doing that and then just causing all uproar on uh, social media again. Um, they need to give their heads a wobble, don't they? Um, the match was nail biting, it was nail biting, and I cannot. Oh my god, I had twitchy bum cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Kane was very lucky. Uh, fans were brilliant throughout the whole game and the keeper saved the penalty. They did. They did, James. Uh, but they do. Everybody hates English. Um, but, do you know, again, we were talking about this the other night. A lot of things are being said now. We've got Black Lives Matter that's going off. Every Lives Matter. And people can say that all they want. But all this, all this angst that we've got, all stems back to what happened years and years ago when we were we weren't even born. Um, all right, some older generation might have been born in World War Two, but it's over and done with. Do you know, yeah, mistakes were made on all sides. Um, in war, the, in war, these casualties, in war, this mistreatment. But why are we still getting blamed or people hating us because of things that weren't even nothing to do with us? Times moved on. Um, and it's just, it, I just find it. I, I think it's, I think it's sad, and I think it's ridiculous um, for what's what's going on these days. Um, that's just my 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 little rant of the morning. Um, I think it's just ridiculous that we're still getting blamed for things that weren't even in our control, weren't even happening. It weren't even our um, government that were in 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 back then do you know what i mean can you tell me what does the number one two three four mean i'm always seeing it when it's 12 34 and looking at my phone at the same time do you know then james i thought you were going to say what does one two three four and then i thought you want me to say sarah uh gareth southgate <laughs> um 
to be honest, it's an angel. I, I class them as angel numbers. Um, so what I would do is I would uh, look at um, just go on Google and just put in angel number twelve thirty four and um see what comes up because there might be a message in there that um they're trying to reach out to you that way oh john has just got it mate angel number one two three four is one of the most special numbers in nu numerology as a system for learning self-development and interrogation it relates to leadership forward thinking and independence so i don't know if that rings true we uh what your like where your life is at minute james but that's what it says on um on on when i've when we've just looked it up integration not integration. integration sorry what integration what did i say interrogation interrogation did I'm i not going to be on csi <laughs> integration i do apologize morning nanny lane tracy Pull your finger out your bum and be patriotic. You know, I, I, I'm not a big football fan, but when England's playing, then I'm behind them all the way. Uh, blimey, Lynn's peed the bed again. I know, Nanny Lynn, what's up with you? Uh, morning, John. Hope things are good from Anne. Um, so, yeah, so let's get on to... Now I've had my little rant. Are we on 9th of July or 8th of July? Oh, we're on 8th of July, isn't it? I should know that. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow. 8th of July, like a phoenix, it came out of the flames. Today, in 1579, in the Russia town of Kazan, survivors of a fire found a symbol of faith. They called it a miracle. Our Lady of Kazan, a painting of the Virgin and Child, was discovered in the ashes of a fire. According to legend, a fire destroyed the house of a merchant and afterwards the merchant's young daughter began to dream of an icon of the Virgin of the Virgin Mary. Hidden amongst the ruins, her dream reoccurred and eventually she was compelled to search the rubble of her father's house. Amazingly, she discovered the painting wrapped in old cloth in immaculate condition, hidden deep beneath the ashes, apparently untouched by the inferno. The painting quickly became famous and associated with further miracles after two blind men who were said to have their sight restored after standing in front of it. It quickly became the most important piece of religious art in Russia, even inspiring the construction of churches in its honour. Our Lady of Kazan was considered so potent that it went on tour during times of threat to the, to the country such as during the Napoleonic Wars, when it was paraded in full view to restore hope as Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte's army neared the Russian capital. In 1904, the painting was stolen by thieves, and in the eyes of its believers, its disappearance had led to a series of disasters in the country, such as the Revolution of 1905. Rumours abound it might have been burned, burned or buried, Although many copies have been made claiming to be the original, the real Lady of Kazan is still missing to this day, having disappeared without a trace. Um, so in a way, it's a little bit then like... Um, take that off my screen. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, the, the Crying Boy painting. Isn't it? I wonder whether that's where Crying Boy paintings come from. Uh, morning, Samantha, my lovely. Uh, morning, Bramwain. Love to you across the waters. Good morning, Irene. Hope you're well. Uh, hope I've not missed anybody. Um, so yeah, um, I'm uh, yeah. So it's it's a bit like that crying boy painting, then, isn't it? Uh, when you think about it. But uh, that's an interesting part of history. Um, Jordan's messaging me. I've sent took sent photos, and she's put do it without the baggy t-shirt. Um, I took a photo of me before I started the weight loss journey, um, and um, I've just put them on to. I've just sent them to my mom and daughter. And uh, the daughter's just messaged me back saying, do we have a baggy T-shirt on? So I will take another photo today. And um... T-shirt, I'll be sending me as well. <laughs> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you take a photo of me in these. And then every Wednesday, every Thursday morning, then I want another photo so I can see the progress weekly. Um, I will change my clothes, I promise. Um, so, yes, what's happening tonight? Do you want to check the weather and see if you're out? Because obviously I can't go out. Um, oh, yeah. So you're on your own, mate. Eh? He's on his own. So, wonder where he's gonna go. 
I know where he's going because I've already thought where he's going in my head. Um, I've That's done that on my fine. blog since my op a year ago. I ain't got um, clout to post just yet. Weather's fine, tonight. Weather's fine tonight. So we will be out live on an investigation, or should I say Mr Brown will be out live on an investigation. Um, as I'm isolating, so John's going to have to uh, go himself. But I have got a place for him to go, so that's good. Um, I've done that on my blog. Yeah, do you know, I ain't got courage to post a picture even though i know how big i am and i'm seen on on when i'm going live and stuff but a lot of time i'm off camera and that's because of the weight um i'm happy to be head head on camera just not below the waist but obviously you can't help that when you're on cameras that you do get caught so uh yeah um but I'm, i ain't got confidence to post my pictures yet i'm a very confident person but when it comes to posting pictures that's a different kettle of fish that's a different level of confidence i think um so big up to you david for uh, posting them because it does take a lot of confidence to post um because there is a lot of stigma that gets attached or a lot of people have um other opinions to say about the photos that aren't nice um so yeah poor john <laughs> poor john for what going out on his own and he loves it secretly he loves going out on his own don't you love uh it's only time he gets a bit of peace and quiet from me <laughs> oh dear but yeah, so I, I will. I'm going to start a blog up, but not that kind of blog to share. It's just going to be a private one. Morning, Gillian. Hope the holiday's going well. Um, hope your husband's recovered, and I hope the weather's uh, good. Uh, David's doing really well. David's doing really well. Um, I must admit, I was surprised. I did it due to take my twelve month. I must admit, I was surprised. I did it due to take my 12-month one today. Oh, it's been 12 months today, get you. Um, well, you have to get that one up, David, if it's been 12 months and get a picture up. Um, and uh, everybody can see how well you've done on your journey so far. Um, I do find it, I did, at first, first three days, I think, were the hard, hardest thing for me to do. Um, because I like to snack at night and obviously because I've changed it. Uh, what's for breakfast this morning? Uh, well, I don't know because it's 12 o'clock I can eat after. Um, so I don't know whether John bought me some bread, but it's only 50 calories a slice. So I may have bread, uh, toast and hummus uh, this morning for breakfast. So, uh, yeah, because I think 50 grams of hummus, I think it's just less than 80 calories. See, look at me. Um, so that's about under, about I'll call it 180 um, for that. So uh, yeah, you are so lovely, and it doesn't matter what your weight is. People don't look at weight; they look at you and your lovely personality. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, to be honest, the reason I'm losing weight is for health benefits. Anyway, I'm not losing it. I'm losing it because I want to lose it, but it's also for health benefits. Um, I want to be around a lot longer for my children and for, well, not for children, for, well, yeah, for children, for grandkids, for John. Um, and I just need to, because I, because I am sat in this chair, um, uh, every minute of day I'm in this chair, um, unless we're going out on investigation, then I'm out on Big Red. Um, so, yeah, it, it, gets to, it gets a bit where you do need to do a little bit for health. Um, so health-wise is why I'm doing it, Sheila. Um, and to fit in some small clothes. <laughs> I've got loads upstairs in the wardrobe that I can't get in. The hardest bit for me was two weeks of milk and yogurt only before up and liquid diet for three weeks after. Yeah, because what did you had some of your stomach took away, didn't you, David? Um, so, yeah, try a dress, Lindsay, that's too small, and do pics every week in same dress, and you'll see how loose it gets. Do you know, Anne, that's a good idea. I have got some dresses upstairs. I don't even think I could fasten one of the dresses that I've got upstairs. Or if I can fasten it, it's going to be a really, really tight fit. Um, so, yeah, or I might do it with a pair of jeans. I think a jean, jeans are better for me um, than um, a dress, Anne, because I'm – more of a jeans person than a than a than a skirty person. Uh, eighty percent gone. Eight is that eighty percent of your stomach got took away, David? Is that? Um, I mean, that were a massive operation. That I mean, you, you know, it, it, it's so difficult. I think when it could. I think I think weight is. I think for everybody. I don't think there's not many people that will say that they're happy with the weight they are. And if they do, um. 
are they telling truth? But it gets me because one of my daughters, well, both my daughters, really, um, but one of them, she lost, uh, she, she's really, she's really slender, um, and my sister's really slender. Um, Jordan were like me, but obviously now she's had kids, but she was slender before she had kids. Um, but she, I mean, she, she's still, she's not put that much on since having kids, to be honest. Um, but, People could people want to some people can weigh ten stone and they might feel uncomfortable in the weight because they're used to being an eight. And to me, then people that are, are like that, same as somebody that's um, I don't know, say seventeen stone wanting to go down to fourteen stone. Do you know it's the same principle? If you feel uncomfortable, then you need to do something. Um Oh, my hair's doing my head in. It needs washing this morning. Um, so, yeah, but um, what are you doing? Did you see England mascot med wild match were on last night? And this is our England mascot. Um, what do you think, guys? Do you think, it, do you think it's a decent mascot? Can't even show you properly on camera, look. I've put him on TikTok. Uh, with song Sweet Caroline. Um, so uh, we chomp it with that. That's that one. Bloody hell. Put cover a bit low then. That's all. Armpit. And again. Uh, so yeah, that's my England uh, mascot. I've always been a skinny runt. I've always needed to put a bit of weight on. See, these people like that as well, Sheila, that need to put a bit of weight on. So it's like swings and roundabouts, isn't it? It's whatever we feel comfortable with. Um, so yeah, what are you looking for? My diet's for? going well. Well, go on then. I did a board for and after picture. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> that's John's before. That's no, that's after. That's his. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you know? <laughs> He's a bloody idiot. Um... <laughs> Do you know, I can remember when you were nearly like that, love. Not so many moons ago either. Oh, um, <laughs> you know he's a cheeky thought. Is that cheeky thought? Um. So yes. Yeah, so later on tonight there will be an investigation. I will be posting. Uh, what time the investigation's on? Um, there is going to be stuff coming live this afternoon. Um, thing is, I don't like doing afternoon lives because a lot of people miss out because of work. Um, so I'll have to, I'm going to have to look into it, look, look and find out a time um, that I can um, come on and do a live. Um, but uh, there'll be something happening on members later this afternoon. And also tonight on members, there will be extra footage after the live. We are switching the times back um, because some of the members, when we were to, when we did a live in members the other day, they prefer to go do um, investigation. investigation, the extra footage afterwards rather than before. Um, so we're going to turn it back round. I enjoy going live at 10 o'clock. I don't know whether in time we will set it at 10 o'clock and then do members straight after um, or whether we'll stick to 9 o'clock because I like the 10 o'clock time. Um, yeah, might be half nine. Yeah, it might change it to half past nine. We start going live because obviously it's light nights and when it gets dark, we can still keep it at half nine. So, um, yeah, so I think we're going to probably be changing times to half past nine UK time for live investigations. And then when we've done the live, we will then continue over on our members page. So, um, yeah, so there'll be extra footage going back. So I hope our members are happy with that. Um, so we do listen to what our members have to say. <laughs> um but yeah, John, get the fresh cream cakes, Daniel. <laughs> well. He says he's done well. <laughs> In a day. In a day, that's what he looks like. In a day. <laughs> Just need to dye your hair now. Yeah. Just need to dye the hair, make you look younger. And if he'd make him look younger if he dyed his hair. 9.30 will be good as it's not too late for me. Oh, that's brilliant, Sheila. Um, but, yeah, I think 9.30 is probably a good time because um, 
When is it? When when is it though, Sheila? It changes. It's winter, isn't it? When it changes, um, doesn't it change for Sheila though? Oh. Sorry, yeah, but aren't they an hour? Well, or two hours? I can't remember. I know Steve said one of them's an hour, and then it changes to two hours. I think yeah. it's winter. Yeah, it changes for us time, but it doesn't change. For, well, it'll change for Sheila. But it don't change by an hour for Sheila. No, oh, no, I'm either. thinking of New Zealand again. Uh, leave his hair alone. Poor guy gets picked on all the time. He doesn't, you know, don't you start, Tracy, because that's no. what he keeps saying, that uh, I pick on him all the time. I don't pick on him all the time. No, some of the time. Percent. Some of the time. That little bit of time there, there, that's what I pick on him. But not all the time. Come on. <laughs> get my part start mopping and over it wants doing um but yeah it's uh, uh 9 30 it's 10 30 for me in winter it would change to 11 30 um no worries so i think what we'd probably do in winter is probably we'd look down um at changing it to half eight again so it'd be half eight in half eight in winter and half nine in uh summer um i think that's what we'll end up doing um uh, just when he doesn't do as he's told Lindsay. yes 95 percent of the time i don't know 95 percent of the time two percent of the time <laughs> what did you put where's it gone it be there. oh it might not have come on yet she always picking. I am not always picking on him. He's telling porky pies. He's telling porkies. So ignore him. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you've had a good day. Um, at UK, I hope you have a brilliant day in the UK. And uh, yeah, let's get cracking for tonight's investigation. And uh, we'll wonder. I'll wonder where I'm going to send him tonight. Um, where can I send you? <laughs> I know, I know where I'm going to. He can't go to one place because I want to go back to that place. Um, so he's not allowed to go there because me, me and Claire want to go back to that place. Um, so he's not allowed to one. Um, I've been on my own. Elbow, 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 elbow. <laughs> Morning, David. Uh, Nine thirty is fine on the way I remember the time changes. It's a little say spring forward and fall back. No, I know it is for us, um, Julian. I'm talking about for those that are out at UK because uh, it does make a big difference. Um, so we go back and did, so if we did it still at nine thirty after ten o'clock, went back. It'd be an hour, an hour later for Sheila. Yeah, that's what she said yeah. in chat. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we right, we well, definitely want to go back to that one, don't we, Claire? It will be 8 o'clock once it gets to dark nights again. It'll or half eight. Eight. Uh, 8. or half 8. I would say half 8, then we're, not, we're only doing an hour's yeah. difference in time. Um, yes, Claire, we definitely want to go back to that location. Uh, so, yeah, I think I know where I'm going to be sending them tonight. Um, so, everybody have a great day. Uh, if you're working, have a good day. Take it easy. Customers are always wrong. <laughs> um, and yeah, and uh, whatever you're doing, whatever plans you've got, just enjoy. Stay safe, guys. Love you loads. Mwah. Bye.